Hope we see football media days. Jacksonville State head coach Bill Clark, you've been a media darling. You've been radio, TV, covers of magazines, right. front page of sports sections and newspapers of various outlets uh, around the state. Now here we go with with football media day. But is this sort of signal, hey, it's time to go that it's it's football season? Yeah, it's here. You know, I mean, this is a lot of hard work, and you know, um, a lot of different things go in to get this thing ready and. And it's it's really close now, so we we say it's here now. Go back to December. Does that seem like that's been a long time ago, or does it just seem like it's been two or three days ago that you were hired? It seems like yesterday. Really? I mean, it's just been a whirlwind of getting things done, getting ready for spring, going through spring. Obviously, you go back to recruiting and meeting players, and then you know we've had a lot of traveling camps this summer. Obviously, we've had guys in there doing their thing, working out, and going to summer school and whatnot. So you know, it's flown by. You mentioned the camps, been very well received. You took them, uh, moved them around different parts mm-hmm. of the state, had your own camp at uh, Burgess Snow Field, and I think that was probably the highlight of the whole thing, wasn't it? It really was. I mean, to get, you know, right at 400 guys on our campus, and, man, it was some really good athletes, um, good players. You had local guys. You had guys from all over. I mean, we had probably 80% of that 400 raise their hands said they'd never been on campus. Now, they may have even been close and never been on campus, but it – that was really the, the highlight to a, to a good camp, you know, summer camp season. All right. You're picked fourth in the preseason in the OVC. Coming in brand new, is that about what you thought? Uh, did you think it would be higher or lower? Did you have any idea? You know, I really thought we would be lower, to be real honest with you, you know, just because you got a new staff and you don't know in your guys. And um, so, you know, I mean, the coach in me and competitor in me would like it to be a little lower just to give us, you know, more to shoot for. But it's uh, – at the same time, it's, it says what, you know, what our program has been, you know, that it's been a program that's, you know, that's won conference championships, that's been right up there, and, and that's what our guys' expectations are. So um, it doesn't totally surprise me either. DeMarcus James, Torrey Milner, preseason all-conference, nice honors for those guys. Sure. I mean, anytime you can get recognized, obviously those are recognitions from last year's achievements. So, you know, who knows what these guys will do this year. But those guys have – you know, have done a good job, you know, have done a good job for us in the offseason, done the things they're supposed to do in spring training to get ready. And, and, you know, hopefully we'll have some other guys that stand out too. Since you took over, and again, going back to January when spring semester started, really your first chance to meet the guys and get them going in offseason conditioning and workouts and everything. There have been maybe a blip or two here or there, but for the most part, I mean, it's been great, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. You know, people say, how has it been? I said, well, it's really been better than expected. Um, but... You know, we just every day we say, you know, what's what's going on today? What happens today? And and you know, we've got young men, but we still take them as kids. And and, and so we want to treat them with maturity, but at the same time, uh, every day we're you know we're saying it's a new day, and we want to win that day. So, but attitudes, effort, um, just all the things you want to see out of them, doing the things in the public and off, you know, off. Away from the pub, everything we've had so far has been good. Hopefully it stays that way, but um, but we've been pleased up to this point. August 1st is the day, right? That's correct. That's our report day, and then we start. And, uh, you, know. you actually get on the field then, or is it the, on the second? On the second. We get on you know, the first day. You just get in, and you know everybody gets situated and go through a few meetings you know, with training staff and whatnot, but uh, second is the actual day. I want to see you go – just uh, shorts, helmets, and maybe just uh, part of the gear for the first couple of days and don't get into full pads, what, the third day? Well, we'll be in two days of helmets, two days of, of okay. shell, shorts and shoulder pads, and then it's and then it's on. Full speed here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, and these guys, like I said, they've, they've been working since January. They've gone through a spring training. It's, you know, the, the neat deal for them, it's here now. You know, I mean, and as a football player, you play for the games. Uh, you know, we say practice is very important, but but you play for the games, and now the games are here. So, the the part that's the hardest for the coaches is the most fun for the players. New system on both sides of the ball, but do the guys with with the spring workouts and going through spring practice and and then the off season stuff, do you think they've got a grasp of, of what you want and, and as far as the schemes and everything? I think they've got a grasp, and I, th- I think that's going to be a work in progress. Uh, as I said when I came here, no senior wants to hear that you're that you're waiting, that we're working toward the future, that we want. So we want to win now. We want to do it right now. That's all we've said. Yet we know some things are just going to get better with time. You knew you had some, I'll call them deficiencies in some spots. You got some transfers. Did that help shore those holes up possibly? Yeah, we think so. You know, and and I I keep saying that. Uh, you know, FCS football, you can, you obviously can take transfers down from FBS. And, and the thing we said, we're going to go after guys that may be the guy that's the guy behind somebody. And maybe it's not that, 
that big name that everybody knows, but but we feel like they fit our need. Uh, you know, we don't know a lot about a guy that comes in the summer. You know, basically he's just doing stuff on his own with a team, but we feel like they fit the needs we had. And, uh, I mean, you're, you never address every need you have, but we felt good about our guys in the spring, and we felt like we had some, some good guys in there. Getting a little anxious and exciting looking ahead uh, to August 31st? No doubt. I mean, I mean that's, it. that's what we play for is those games. And as I say, you know, right up till if it's a 5 o'clock kick, I'm, I'm pretty nervous till 5, and then you get in the flow of it. But it's, you know, us coaches this time of year, we're not sleeping a lot. One last thing, some rules changes, uh, especially helmets of the defensive players. Uh, that's going to be, I guess, until everybody, until the officials get a feel for it and, and you and, and players get a feel for it, I guess everybody's going to sort of learn on the process, right? Well, I brought my whole staff up here, you know, a day early to um, to get to sit in with the officials. They were having their meetings. And, you know, just real quickly, I, well, I got a, a good new respect for those guys <laughs> and the time they put in, the work they put in. But I, I'm concerned with targeting. I mean, I think none of us wants concussions. Nobody wants to see anybody injured. I just hope it's not something that, where a guy's just actually going to make a tackle and, and we start calling those things. And I, it's going to be hard on those guys because it's going to be a bam, bam thing. So that's that's a big concern to me, especially as a guy who's been a defensive a defensive coach for a while. I hope we don't really hurt our defense trying to protect our players. But obviously safety is our number one key, so that's what we're talking about.